got to be careful sitting there. Farmer might try and shoot you. I'm from Zimbabwe. It wouldn't be the first time, trust me. My name is Sibon Anakaya Lizzo. Call me Hatta. Can you feel that? The energy? Always. That's why I'm here. There is something coming, I can sense it. And that's why I had to come. From Zimbabwe? No. Stonehenge. I was on a coach trip there, but I knew I had to be here instead. I don't know what it is, but whatever it is, it's something... Something big. Exactly. Do you live here? Yes. What makes these circles? I don't know. Why do they come here? Because they have to. service update. There are currently delays at Bank Station due to ongoing engineering works and delays westbound on the Circle and District lines. Your next station stop is Poplar. You forget just how small England actually is. I mean, you can't go more than a couple of miles without coming across some village or, or town or some kind of sign of civilization, at least. You're clearly lost. I'm not lost. Okay? You should have got GPS. What are GPS for? I don't trust them anymore. Anyway. That's because you always have a guide. Well, we don't need a guide to come to Wiltshire. Well, then learn how to read a map. I know how to read a map. I think it's out of date or broken or something. How on earth do we know where we are anyway? I've been down a hundred identical little country roads, and each one leads to another identical looking hobbit village. Which one do we just go through? I have no idea. They all look the same, they all sound the same. Dilton? No. no it's. Look, there, we're, we're there. It's right. You just said you don't go, know where you yeah, were. I know where we are, we're there. Go right. Just, it definitely is right. doing this? <laughs> you think this is easy? Well, if I had money, I wouldn't be asking you, would I? Oh, hang on. Right, you're a star. Thanks, mate. Hurry, right, you alright? See you tomorrow. No, I haven't spoken to him. Well, give me his new number then. Why not? Well, don't moan at me for not talking to him then. <laughs> yeah! Oh, Carolyn, I'm not going over this again. You just get him to call me, please. Please, Carolyn, it's important. I'm not going to get him involved in anything. There's nothing going on here anyway. He's a grown man, for Christ's sake. He can make his own mistakes, can't he? Carolyn. Carolyn, I'm sorry. No, I mean it, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have snapped at you. It's just that... Today's Mum's birthday. Yeah. And, um, I still love you. I know you don't. Just get him to call me, please. Perfect. I don't know what to do. Every choice I make is a wrong choice. 
But if I make a choice, then change it. To be the right choice is still the wrong choice. Caroline won't listen to me. Dean. Dean won't even talk to me, and, uh... Well, you can't help me. Can you? here today because, well, as you know, I've been going over the reports the last couple of days and I've had every member of the team in here this morning. Unfortunately, I need to say to you that this is just not going to wash. There's no way that I can hand this work in above my head because it all comes down on me in the end, Dean. I don't know where you've been at these last few weeks, but it's just not up to scratch. I'm going to need to ask you to leave the office. Take at least a week out, just get away somewhere, clear your head. And let's just hope that when you come back in here, we'll get the old Dean back and get back on track. Okay. Okay, off you go and just keep in touch with us. I'm sure that was Stonehenge. No, it was a fake. It's all made out of wood and fiberglass. The real Stonehenge is in a museum in Tokyo. Hmm. I'd love to touch the stones. Yeah? I did. When I was a kid. Mind you, that was back before the National Trust Nazis got their hands on it. Well, no, apparently you still can. On Solstice, I heard there's an amazing rave. You should go. You ever seen a UFO? Excuse me while I write that down in my invisible book of favourite non sequiturs I'm serious. Come on, not even in the desert. In Mali, you must have. No. It's a shame. I have. Oh, look. Bill Bay back in. Go and ask him where we are. You sure we can trust him? This is Wiltshire, the English countryside. What do you think he's going to do? Pull a gun on you? Farmers have guns. He looks like a farmer. Yeah, but I don't think they tend to shoot journalists, even if we are lost. <laughs> Excuse me, mate. Do you know where we are on this map?
God, any later and we'll be here in time for the harvest. You know, I'm beginning to see why everybody really wants to work with you. But you weren't exactly my first choice either. God knows why the agency sent you. I don't know. Maybe it's written on the back of my Royal Television Society Camera Operator of the Year Award. It's getting cold. Goodbye, Hobbiton. Hello, Narnia. Yeah, that's right. Don't see if the Snow Queen's in. Maybe you might find a friend. Hi. Hello. Can we have two rooms, please? Rooms? To sleep in. No rooms here. <laughs> How very biblical. There's a campsite round the back. I'm not sleeping in a sudden tent. Well, why don't you sleep in the car and I'll sleep in the tent? Where's the nearest hotel? Pusey. About five miles away. You come out of here, you turn left, then right on the main road and you keep going and then you'll come to it. You sleep in the car and I'll have the tent. I brought two tents. You knew about this, didn't you? No, of course. It's called research. Okay, we'll take two tents just for tonight. Can I ask you a question? Have you ever seen a UFO around here? No. I have seen lights, though. I know enough everyone has. She's absolutely not my wife. Better make it a weekend. So, Darren, <laughs> you, you own the barge in. We do. Obviously, Me and Amanda. You, you obviously attract loads of people coming here to Yeah, a lot of tourists from all over the world, yeah. Yeah. So, what's your view on crop circles? Well, people say they're man-made, some people say they're made by aliens. We just sell them beer while they talk about <laughs> it, really. The Barge Inn's in the book called the most, uh, the 50 strangest pubs in Britain. Uh, we've got a double page spread in there, largely because of the crop circle thing and because of the, uh, the phenomenon and the strange people that come round here. I, I hate to say that about my customers, but you know, we, we are a diverse lot. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow we find a hotel. Why? When I was in the Sudan, we slept out under the stars. Yeah, it's warm there. How come you always go to hot climates anyway? The last assignment I had was in Finland. Don't they fight wars in temperate climates anymore? Russia-Georgia War, South Ossetia, 2008. Mind you, it only lasted five days and it was in August. The day the penguins revolt in Antarctica, I'll happily wave you off to the airport. <laughs> with all that cold air, you should come with me. You'd fit in perfectly. You're making a documentary. Yes. Hi, I'm Lara. I'm here to find out the truth about crop circles. <laughs> so is everyone else. What do you think? Where do crop circles come from? This is it. We're done now. Whatever, you're full of shit. Excuse you? For every time, every time you give me this, and then by Monday you'll be fine again. This is just one of your. Oh, no, again. no, 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 no. And you wait until today. You just sit and listen to me talk about my day and listen to about, about, about everything that's gone wrong, and now you've finished with this. Yes. Maybe All right. Should, yeah, maybe you should just leave them. You're full of shit, Andrea. I, I get it now. Ace Andrea, vaffanculo. Stop it. Fucking stop it. We're done and I'm going away. I'm
just told me there's some lights up there on top of the hill. Oh, great, thank you. No worries. Follow me. Nothing. Look, I'm here to find out the truth. Oh, I told you to leave, and you didn't. You don't deserve the truth. Okay, cut! What do you mean I don't deserve to know the truth? I'm a journalist, that's what I do. If I find a lead, I'm obligated to follow it. But you need to report what they'll let you see. It isn't always the truth. Okay, I don't know what you were doing there last night, but if it gets me closer to my story, I need to know. You said you saw something in the field. Was it a crop circle? Well, you're probably going to find out anyway, so I might as well say yes. But how did you know it was there? Did you see lights or something? I met a woman. She told me that something big was going to happen, and we went to explore. And yes, we saw some lights. So they made the circle, the formation? Look, if you really want to know what's going on, don't hang around here. Get out there in the fields and the hills and the ancient monuments. That's where the real mecca of circle makers is, not the bloody pub. When you want to learn, just get out there and explore. Only then you can find out what you really want to know. But how long is that going to take? We're only here for a few days. <laughs> well, I've been here 15 years. What about the woman you mentioned? Yeah, sure, she's in the field. What does she look like? <sighs> Enlightened. God, he has this annoying ability to avoid questions. Did you get all that? No, because you told me to cut. No, just because I said cut doesn't mean stop filming. Always keep the camera on when someone's talking. You know, the last person who said that to me died two minutes later. This is not Syria, Yossi, and I'm not Olivia Cousin. Hey, don't mention her name in front of me. Why? You're not half the woman she was, all the journalists. Look, somebody like Hatter doesn't respond to direct questioning. You need to cultivate him, make him feel secure, then he'll open up. Hatter! Hatter, it's Yossi. Look, we're gonna head up into the field anyway, see if we can dig something up. Can you just tell us how to get there? Give me a lift and I'll show you. One appears in this field most years. This is the farm of my life. I'm not surprised. Some get it. Some don't. Those that live in their own little world say, yeah. A bit annoyed, even violent. But those who get the bigger picture, they tend to understand. There's more going on here than just crop circles, you know. Such as? That's what I'm trying to find out.
anyway. You uh, seem a bit shaken up last night. Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, I know you feel. But being out here in the countryside, away from whatever it was, is going to help you. Well, as long as there's not a war anywhere around here, I should be fine. I'll probably survive. What's that? Oh. Donation box. No way. So much for being irate. He'll probably make more from that the next few weeks than he will from the entire crop. Well, we don't have to pay, do we? Depends how clear your conscience is, I suppose. Are you sure this is where we were last night? It's right there. Just keep walking. Are you not joining us? No. Nah. Do my research alone. Me or your real arrogant son of a bitch? I think it's probably you. Zuzu Amantongo, the great circles of the gods. They have been known for centuries throughout Africa. They are messages from the star gods placed only in sacred fields. But who makes them? Not who, what. The legend says that a great circular disc-shaped force descends from the heavens and presses firmly into the ground. They then swirl around creating circular patterns. and our earth. They help us understand who we are. Gaia is sick and she needs our help. So this is an establishing shot for the formation before we do the interview. Hey, what do you think you're doing? It's just a documentary. I don't want any filming here. All right, all right, calm down. Can you stop doing that, please? I'm nervous, all right? But you told me the farmers didn't pull guns on people. Bloody shoot you if you get us lost again. Don't blame me. You were the one who wanted a guide, and when we finally get one, you left him up on a hill. He could be up there for bloody hours. God knows what he's doing up there. Are you filming me? You told me to film everything, remember? Not me. Cut it, please. I'm a history professor. Oh, wow. And uh, I'm very much interested here in uh, the crop circles and in Avery altogether because uh, I already teach my students that from even in uh, the 10th and the 11th century, there was evidence from monks who wrote it down that they already saw crop circles. And perhaps some people pretend it's an oak here, but uh, mm. most certainly they did not do that thing in the 9th or 10th or 11th century. So I was lying on my back and I heard some like whisperings. I sometimes hear the same when I enter some uh, prehistoric caves, like mm. uh, private prehistoric caves in the Perigord in France. It, it definitely feels that something comes out of the earth, like out of Middle Earth, and it connects something, whatever, with the universe. It's like a sort of uh, 
a gateway, um, a, a kind of message between the universe and the Middle Earth all together, and it, it, it combines something. It's mm. surely it isn't made by humans. Okay, red pin access denied. Right, so that's most of them. That's where we were last night, right? Yeah. Oh, here's the game. 25. Perfect. We're not going to get lost. Um, so you're a retired farmer? I retired farm worker. Um, was in the convoy, going along merrily, listening to the radio, enjoying life. I went into the circle and watching everything with the radio on. I've always had a radio on music and listening. And it just crackled and went dead. Came out the other side of the circle again. Started up again. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it, um, yeah. and still now, when I think about it now, I do sometimes get a... I don't, I don't know. How are you feeling, Ken? No feelings yet? No. no. What's that on your own? Did you just cut yourself? No. No, I don't know how that got there. Whoa. No idea at all. Does it hurt, no? No, it didn't hurt. myself why we win now where does this go if only we know if only we know send look across the border now it's asking myself why we win much better. So you live on this boat? Yeah, sorry, it's so small. Small? And I live in London. This is big. I can just about afford a bed sit above a kebab shop. I thought we you city guys were rich. Not since the crash. Parking meters in Soho are more proud than me. Not so good for your self-esteem. So what's your plans now you're here? You're welcome to stay as long as you want. I'm gonna look after the campsite, but uh, I've still got plenty of time if you want to do something more interesting. I'm not helping you, Dad. I wasn't asking you to. <laughs> ah! Where's the brake on this? 
Where's reverse? Chuck swipe, chuck swipe, son. Oi! Go, yeah. What are you looking for? I don't know if I know where all the crop circles are. I saw a map like this in the cafe. I'm trying to mark them on here. Are you going to help with that? Dad makes me memorise them all. Says it's good for business. Your dad? Your dad runs the pub. Yeah. Okay. Reminds me thinking you got the job because you were good looking. What's Salisbury Plain? Oh, you can't go there. Why not? That's all army land. The army? Oh yeah, they're all over this place. Some people even say they made the crop circles. Do they? I don't think so. Who does? Dean! <laughs> Hello, Aideen. <laughs> How are you? What? What's up? New tattoo on my shoulder. Oh, sorry. Do you think you're coming this year? No, me neither. Dad oh. Oh, Dad just asked me down for something. Oh, where is he? He's in the barge. Oh. <laughs> He's making a documentary. And that's Laura. She definitely is not his wife. That's me, I'm Dean. So is it true that everyone from Wiltshire is called a moon rake? Yes. Is it because you really like James Bond? No. Because we're brandy smugglers. What? Well, the original moon rakers were brandy smugglers. Some of them were hiding in barrels in the local pond using rakes to hold them down. When the customs officers asked them what they were doing, they said they were trying to get the moon out of the pond because it had fallen in. They just thought they were a couple of stupid yokels. They fooled them all. Breakfast. Local bacon. Mm. Farm fresh. Smells good. <laughs> You're not here though. Hey. Got to earn it. Hmm. How would you sleep? Awful. Way too hot. <laughs> Come on, get changed. Where are we going? Get changed. Okay. What's with this white horse on the hillside? Oh, there's loads of them. Iron Age symbols of carriers of the souls carved into the chalk. God knows why. That's a shame. It's only been there two days and the farmer's cut it out already. Come on. Oh, Brazilian. Yep, half. So you're way out of your comfort zone here. How did you end up here? Mm, punishment for me how to speak English. I worked for a TV station in Brazil. Stupidly slept the wrong person, and I'm suddenly a new European correspondent. <laughs> Money Street isn't exactly the hub of European activity. Oh, it is for a vindictive program controller obsessed with crop circles. And this is Crop Circle Grand Central Station, is it not? True. I love this view. Where's Stonehenge? Stonehenge. Stonehenge. All the tourists want to know where Stonehenge is. <laughs> Sorry for sounding so predictable. The only positive I can get from this nonsense assignment is to go and party with the Solstice Lord. Why? It's full of fakes and drunks. 
Sounds perfect. I really want to go and touch the stones. I think that's my only chance, isn't it? If you want to touch stones, you get an Avebury. Yeah. Best bacon in the county. Thinking. Mm hmm. It's cold. Unbelievable. Way too young for you. And she's young enough to be your daughter. Hardly. Look, I'm cultivating a contact. You are just flirting. <laughs> Why not? May as well have some fun, eh? I am not having sex with you. I was not asking. <sighs> Take your hat off. started when I first saw lights over a field. First time I saw formation. I see designs, patterns. First the crude rough outlines and more and more detail. And the only way to make them stop is to get them down on paper. And where do they come from? I have no idea. But sooner or later, they will appear in a field. And how often does this happen? More and more. Something big's coming. When you go to a doctor, there's only four that make it stop. That's what I would do. Because they will dream me here. They guide me. Something bigger, think bigger, not too. Yeah. What are you doing there? Oh, I'm, uh, I'm measuring the EM, the, uh, the uh, electromagnetic energy radiation coming from the field. Uh, after a crop circle appears, we, we find the levels increase. What causes that increase? Yeah. Now that, that we don't know. But the increase is pretty consistent across all genuine formations. It's one of the ways we differentiate uh, from the hoaxes. The hoaxes? But this one's genuine, isn't it? Oh, this one's far too complex to be a hoax. No, there's no way this one's man-made. Definitely extraterrestrial origin. Hi, Charles. Hi. <laughs> I believe you run this cafe. Uh, yeah, I run this crop circle information centre. I'm a field investigator for the crop circles. I've been on the ground investigating the physical traces for 17 years right now. Wow. So uh, uh, 600 or so circles over 17 years. Y you know, there's a huge proportion of these things which are hoaxed, made by people, fakes. The spectacular thing comes in a smaller residual percentage which appear to be genuine, non-human made creations with no traces of physical damage to the plants or anything in that immediate environment suggesting and some kind of third party energetic process caused that to happen so to me yeah that's spectacular and interesting and those investigations are ongoing we had a message transmitted out into space in 1974 from the Arecibo radio telescope in Puerto Rico and it was a message constructed by the astronomer Carl Sagan as uh, it was to launch the um 
to, uh, to initialize that telescope. You know, it was the first process used was to send this message from humanity. We're here. This is um, our biology. This is where we are in our solar system in this part of space and beamed it out to a star cluster named M13. Technically speaking, that, that message shouldn't have even got there yet. It's about 20 years down, down the road, <laughs> <laughs> interestingly enough. So we get the reply before the actual message yeah. gets there, assuming that the reply was a genuine crop circle rather than a human hoax. Basically, the message back was very similar to, what, to, to the message that we sent out, except there was um, the, where, we, where in, in our original message, there was a depiction of the human double helix strand of DNA. In the, um, in the reply, there was a triple helix suggesting, if you tend to believe this kind of thing, that whatever these entities or beings were, they were operating using uh, far more sophisticated biological processing systems, incorporating the use of a triple spiral DNA rather than a double spiral DNA, which would mean presumably massive more intelligence. I mean, I've had over the 17 years, I've had what I would consider to be bizarre close encounters with, with energies or objects, orbs of light mainly, you know, one, on one occasion an orb of light around about two feet in diameter as large, as, as big as a large beach ball physically approached me in a crop circle and came within about two feet of me and this was a large orb of light which just appeared out of nothing, hovered above the ground right in front of me um, for up to a minute, just under a minute maybe, and that was a weird close encounter. I can't do it, Dad. I need your help. No, you don't. Just get the normal team together. I haven't helped you for years. They don't understand me like you do. I understand what I need. What do you think I asked you here? I'm not doing it. <laughs> this is your life now, not mine. Think, please. We're a team. It's what we do. No, Dad. It's what you do. Uh, yeah, I used to have fun when I was a kid, running around in the fields and that, but I'm not doing it anymore. No. Just think about it. I've got to go. You have that. Dean! What's your dad like? Obsessed. No, that's not fair. He does what he can. He knows a lot about crop circles. More than anyone. So why won't he talk to me? Probably because he doesn't trust you. He said that I didn't deserve to know the truth. And that um, when I'm ready, I'll know. How do I know when I'm ready? You don't. You did say you wanted to touch the stones, didn't you? <laughs> that one over there. Okay, go on. Right. How, how, what's going what's to happen to me? Huh? What's going to happen to me? People have disappeared. Have they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. People have just been sucked straight into the stones. Like, disappear with you. If you're lucky. <laughs> I did it! I yeah. touched the stones! Touch the stones. Give me that. There you go. Okay, work it, baby, work it. <laughs> it's like a stones calendar. Yes. <laughs> Push your bottom out. Push bottom out. Right. Yeah. Yeah? I feel oh. like I'm being searched. Amazing. <laughs> it's mad, you almost forget. Better than Stonehenge? Turn it off and come here. Turn it off. No. Come on. No. Oh. God damn it. Free. Come on. Come on.
Hey. Jesus, where were you? Syria. Aleppo. Sum district. I was there last year. If you don't confront it, it's never gonna go away, you know. Sometimes in my work, Cameron and Gunn are seen as the same thing. We were filming in the souk. Well, what's left of one, it was just a facade of buildings and a pile of rubble, really. At one end was a tank. And the other was our guide. He was just a kid, really. He was a teenager. And Olivia, the reporter I was with, she had a son about the same age. I had a kind of maternal bond with him. He was stuck. And she told me to keep filming while she went to save him. They were both killed by a single tank shell. <sighs> and then turned his barrel on me. He knew where I was, I'm trying to hide in a doorway. The building collapsed, it all went dark. I woke up three days later in a Jordanian hospital. videotape in my pocket, wrapped inside a, a note thanking me for my bravery. And I tried for months to get it on TV. I couldn't find a station that would run the footage. All said it was too graphic. So no one saw it. And the best journalist I ever worked with died for nothing. We both did. Darkness in your eyes. Yeah, I guess you know about that. <laughs> you know, this this is a very ancient site. Thousands of years ago, people come from all over Europe just to be here. It's a gateway. It's full of their energy. If you let it.
you're so kind You can walk by with your head held high And I'll tell you why You'll be alright On your journey, there'll be heartbreak, there'll be pain, there'll be suffering on the way. As you take this day by day, oh, just let me say. You'll be okay. Have you ever seen a UFO? <laughs> what? It's just... Not the question I was expecting right now. Well? No, I've never seen a UFO. Mm, I'd love to see one here. Well, this is a big military area. So, most of the people who said they've seen UFOs have probably just seen planes. Why are the military here? Maybe they make the crop circles. It's not the military. And it's not the UFOs. How can you be so sure? The way the crop is bent, never broken. The way they're interlaced with patterns that can only ever be seen from the sky. This one must be amazing. <laughs> what? What's so funny? <laughs> Nothing. Just... You're the first person to see this crop circle. How do you know? Because it was put down last night. Who? Who made it? You're asking the wrong question there. The real question is why. I should hate you for doing that, but I don't. If you were in the pub, I would have thrown you out before midnight. Now, come on. Come on. Okay, so this whole thing started in the late 1970s with these two old boys called Doug and Dave. Doug had spent some time in Australia and one day, in a pub, he decided to tell Dave about these saucer nests that were appearing in Queensland. And they thought it would be fun to do the same, make a circle in a field. Okay, why? Well, there's loads of UFO spotters in the area, and they thought it'd be funny if they could hoax them into thinking that a UFO had landed. Just some pointless prank fueled by too much beer and cheese rolls. But it worked. People believed, and still do believe, that it was made by UFOs. And this went on for 13 years. They made bigger and better designs as they went, until one day they just retired in 1991. And that was when they told everyone it was a hoax. But by that point, there are people copying them. There have been thousands of them made. How come no one's ever been caught before? They're made in waist-high crops away from main roads. <laughs> a couple of years back, two formations went up in the same field and neither of the teams knew the other were there. Unless you know exactly when it's going to be made and at what time, the chances of finding them are practically zero. But loads of people do believe they're alien. There's a whole cottage industry around it. Yeah. <laughs> it brings a lot of money to the area. That's why the farmers turn a blind eye. Provided they get their little donations and their little boxes. I'll try and shoot you. Most of it right. What about the last 20 years? I mean, it's easy to make a few circles in a field. But these designs, they're huge. Hundreds of meters long. Natural evolution. Tons of teams in the area. And they're all challenging each other to make bigger and better designs. We place them on ley lines, next to monuments, and, and orientate them in particular directions, and the world just laps it up. <laughs> Assuming it's some gift from the heavens. So the whole mystery is nothing but a huge hoax. Yeah. 
just some pointless British eccentricity. It's like pantomimes. Royal family. You know, you should come here in the winter time. You can see the outlines of the crop circles in the snow. You know, this is the only pub in the world built inside its own circle. A chapel too. It does give me the creep so, it makes me feel like I'm in a horror movie. Don't look at the stones. Don't look at the stones. Sorry I ran out on you last night. Ah, uh, it's all right. You didn't miss much. I was expecting druids. <laughs> that stone hinge. Yeah, all rich kids on one side wearing outlaws. Pissheads with King Arthur shit on the other. Not really my scene. Not really yours either, I guess. What did you get up to in the end? I go where the spirits guide me. My head is far too sore for an answer like that. When you witness the darkness of humanity, you have to expose yourself to the light. Find your balance. And keep your head clear. Well, at least we know we're not in a horror movie. Otherwise I wouldn't get a signal. Uh, it's not too soon. It's the ice monster. Hello, Lara. No, I'm in Avebury. Why is that ironic? It's here with me. And that barmaid you like so much. Yeah, okay. Alright. Bring the camera. <sighs> Lara's coming here with Dean. And apparently she wants to interview you. I would like to ask you one question. Why? Why what? Why I make crop circles? I don't know, that's what I'm trying to find out as well. You must know why you make them. Who says that I make them? No, 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 no. Cut it. Cut it! I asked you here to help me, not, not destroy everything we have. What difference does it make, Dad? Like, she was going to find out eventually. But do you know how many documentary teams have been here over the years searching for the truth? I mean, th there's a reason. They keep searching, we don't bloody tell them! I'm sorry, all right, I'm sorry. It just it just slipped out, we got a bit carried away and it just slipped out, all right? Let your soul guide you, not your selfish pleasure! I mean, if you can't learn that, then all the private education and university degrees in the world are, are gonna be worthless! You know, what, you know what, you know what? Enough with your spirit guide shit, Dad. I don't understand it. I never have. Look, this is your thing and I'm happy for you, but I'm not gonna let your ritualistic spiritual shit dictate my life anymore, all right? Look, maybe that's why she's here. Maybe she's here to show you why you really do it. What we see in a circle tells us everything about ourselves. I mean, just look at it as a huge Rorschach design, deciphered specifically according to the minds that choose to look at them, to read them. It's like a, a temporary temple. Some people want to be there to dance. Some people want to be there to meditate. Some people just want to explore. But they just feel compelled to be there, just as we feel compelled to make them. I, it's, like a, oh, it's like a mind virus that you just can't shake. I can't tell you why I make them. I just have to. Then let me help you find out. It's too late. I'm not doing this anymore. What the hell happened here? Did you break the camera? I stopped recording. What? Why? This is the best footage we've got, a confession. What the hell were you thinking? I agree with them, okay? And I just think that if we expose what they're doing, we're going to end it. And we don't have that right. 
We have the right to reveal whatever is in the public interest. We are here to observe and document, not get emotionally involved. You've crossed the line, you'll see. Whatever happens, keep filming. Never ever stop. Why have we stopped? You need to bin the story. <gasps> Never. People need this. No. No, you need this. There's more at stake here than just your stupid career. Think about it. You're right. I need this story and I'm going to get it. At what cost? If you expose the circle makers, then you're gonna force them to stop and then everybody is gonna lose everything. And why? Just so you can make some name for yourself. It's a chance for me to go home. I haven't seen my family in five years. I was sent on this bullshit assignment as a way to justify keeping me here. Give her an impossible task and make her fail. You know what? I won't. People in Brazil don't give a shit what happens in Europe. As much as the Europeans care what happens in Brazil. Then why don't you quit? Why don't you quit? Go on. You got any bars on yours? He didn't bring mine. Damn it. I'm sure the financial world will survive a few days without you opening their post for them. Hey, it's a good entry-level job, all right? Fast track. To what? Someone opening your post for you? What do you think of this one? Yeah, it's all right. The edges are a bit shonky. I'd have to load a loose bits up. I never leave bits standing up. You used to spend all summers up here with me. I barely see you. When I do finally see you, you're off with someone else. <laughs> you're jealous? Disappointed. She used you to get a story on your dad, and you fell for it. No, I, I can't believe he's just going to give it all up. He's been talking about it for months. Said he wanted to go out with something big. He really said that? He's been looking for a new job. Had no luck, though. My dad's retiring soon, letting me take over the pub. I was going to ask how to run it with me, but not now. People only come here to see the circles. If there's no circles, there's no people, and there's no pub. Hey, Dean said that you'd be here. She also said this was your secret hiding place. Well, it's not very secret, obviously. Come hug the tree with me. <laughs> nah. I saw enough of that hippie stuff when I was in India on my way to Kashmir. Oh, you see, this, this yew tree is 1800 years old, okay? You've seen the end of the Roman occupation. Anglo-Saxons, the Dark Ages, two, two plagues, a civil war, and a blitz. It's also the oldest living thing you'll ever get to touch. Come and hug the damn tree with me. I'm sorry about Lara. She has a reputation for being a bit obsessive. I did try to talk her out of it. She has to do what she feels is right. Just like we all do. Yeah. I've seen what obsessive journalism does to people. The pursuit of the story at all costs. Syria? Yeah. Among others. Pretty impressive what you do. You should get some acclaim for it. I don't think it's a claim I'll be getting once this all comes out. Why not? You're an artist. You're a real-life moonraker. You fooled the world. Yeah. 
and now I'm going to pay for it. So, okay, I'm ready to give it up anyway. Are you kidding? You're like the Banksy of the countryside. I only did it to be close to my son. I shouldn't have fucking done it. I shouldn't have done it, Dad. I'm sorry. After all you told me, I didn't believe it. I don't believe that. And I don't think you do either. Bought a lovely new camera the other day. Night vision. Infrared. There's a lovely sort of pinkish hue to it. Not like the normal sickly green horror movie look you normally get. I'd like to come out with you one night. Film you in a field. Put a formation down. I spent most of the last few years just stuck in conflict zones. Wars. It'd be nice to film something creative for once, instead of something being destroyed. Obrigada, obrigada. <risos> Espera um momento. Me senti. Desculpa, estou aqui.
Help me find a way out. Help me. Of design. How do you know that? something. What? Back down there. A, a figure, a, a shape, something. I don't know what it is. It's protecting us. Protecting us? Protecting us from what? From him. Oh, I knew it was you. Only if I waited long enough, I'd catch you at it. Out. You've been warned. And get out of my field. I'm not going anywhere, Kelsey. I warned you, Hatter. I said, get out of my field, Hatter! Looks nice. Expose your name and I'll cover your face, I promise. <laughs> Doesn't matter. My time is up. Someone else needs to do it now. Smiling. <laughs> yeah. I'm going back to Brazil. Lucky you. I'm going back to work. Egypt. You covered up that mistake well, mate. I didn't do that little bit. You did.
Thank you.